Welcome to Design by Geeks. Today we'll be assembling this sweet little reindeer gift box from Rissa Rocks. It, it opens up at the bottom and you can fill it with candy or gifts. This SVG is perfect for Christmas. It's great for stocking stuffers or you could even use it as a little decoration. A link to buy this SVG file is in the video description. Let's get started. You're going to start by cutting out all of your pieces on your cutting machine. There's the box, antlers, eyes, and nose. We're going to start by pre-folding the box piece along the score lines. If you like, you can also use a folding tool to help fold along the score lines. This can be helpful with some of the smaller folded pieces. After your box is pre-folded, you're going to apply glue to this little tiny side tab here and we'll be folding that around to meet the other side. So we're just going to glue that together to meet the other side and that's going to form our main box shape. After gluing the side tab, you're going to glue down your antler pieces. So you're going to take your antlers, you're going to apply a little bit of glue at the bottom. And then you're going to take each antler and place it between the ears and behind the head. You just want to try and get those even, however you like them. After gluing down the antlers, you can then glue down the eyes and nose. I like to do the nose first and align that towards the bottom middle. And then you can place the eyes wherever you think they look cute. I got a little bit of excess glue there. I'm going to just clean that off. There we go. So now that the face is on, you're going to do the sides. So if you see, there are two points on each side, and you're going to start by bringing them together to meet in the middle. I don't know if you can see that, but I've brought these two points together like so. And what I like to do is I like to place a little dot of glue on each side of the point and then hold that together so that the points stay together. I'm just going to kind of hold that there until the glue sets enough that if I let it go, it's not going to pop back out. All right, now that the points are glued together, I can place glue along these tabs at the front and at the back. I'm going to start with the front. And then I can press my front against those glued tabs. Again, holding that in place until the glue is set. And now I'm going to do the exact same thing, but with the back side.
once that glue has set, next I'm going to put a teeny bit of glue on the ears and glue those together. And that will just kind of help additionally to keep the box together. Just want to align those ears as best we can. Doesn't have to be perfect, but just try and get it as close as you can. All right, your box assembly is now done. If you like, what you can do is you can add a little optional bow, like this one, and that can look cute. I usually use hot glue if I'm going to do a bow. So I've put a little hot glue on the bow and I can stick it wherever I think it looks nice. Get rid of any of these little glue strings that always seem to come when you do hot glue. All right, now I can fill my box with candy or gifts or whatever I like. To close the box, you fold down the bottom flaps and the lid. And there you go. We're all ready to go for Christmas. Thanks so much for watching.